Okay, take like five on piece number 86. It's Henry IV receiving the portrait of Marie de Medici from the Marie de Medici cycle. So a cycle is a series. Peter Paul Rubens is the, he's, you know, one of the biggies um, of art. And here he is creating a lot of Baroque art for Re Marie de Medici. This is a whole wing of the Louvre that is dedicated to her 24 paintings. There are 16-ish here. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. I mean, there's like nine more. So she commissioned Rubens to make this whole series for her because she needed a huge boost to her reputation in France. She's an Italian, right, from the Medici family, really wealthy family, and uh, she needed these for propaganda. She needed to appeal to the people of France to say that she actually was a great person. She wanted her name to go down in history as good, celebrating her and all the great things that she did. And so this series was dedicated to uh, the function of propaganda. This is Marie de Medici. She's wealthy enough to have had her portrait taken many times throughout her life. And you can see her as a young girl, kind of a cutie. And this would be about the age here where she ended up getting married. But her family, super rich in Italy, right? They are the people that commissioned Michelangelo Angelo, uh, to do a lot of work for them. And they had so much money from banking and from trade that the... King of France, Henry IV, who was not so well off, even though he had a has a great title and a great country, uh, he needed their money. So this was an arranged marriage. They did not meet before they got married. And that's what this piece is all about, is how do you marry somebody that you haven't seen? So part of the context here is that Henry IV had all these mistresses, and he made them or he made his wife, Marie de Medici here, uh, kind of walk next to these mistresses, rub elbows with them in court in France. Here she is with their son, who is going to be the future king, Louis the Thirteenth. Um, but Henry the Fourth really saw Marie de Medici as a bankroll and as breeding stock for him. So he did not crown her initially, right, when they first got married. They had about five kids. He's going off to war, and he says, all right, by the way, here, I'll put a crown on your head. So he crowns her, and um, the day after he crowns her, he's assassinated. So I don't know how we read that. Um He's assassinated and Marie de Medici ends up becoming the Queen of France for a while. She's standing in for their son, King Louis the 13th, because he's not old enough to rule yet. So she's kind of liking this ruling thing. And when her son comes of age to rule, she refuses to give the crown or excuse me, the throne over to him, makes him wait two more years. So. When her son gets to the throne, he exiles his mom. But she is so determined that she even, the legend has it, I mean, truth has it, that she scaled a 40 or a wall using a 40 foot uh, rope ladder to get back to Paris uh, and to kind of attack her son. And they end up having two wars. The, they're called the war of mother and son over the whole idea of her being a part of this ruling piece. So ultimately he, Louis the 13th was convinced to let his mom come back into town and she served as a counsel to the King. And it was at this point in her life that she realized she did not have a good reputation in, in France. So here she is, this Italian woman who ruled France, kept the throne from her son, who knows how her husband died. And so she tries through art to improve her reputation. 
Now, this propaganda of, I say, it's 22 there, but I mean to say 24 huge paintings. You know, this is about her whole life. And this is the piece in our set. Now, so um, what to know about this? Is that right? You, you don't get to get on a, your Learjet and go visit your prospective uh, wife. So instead, a portrait was sent to him. This is King Henry IV. And so he's looking at this portrait wondering, hmm, do I marry her or not? And Peter Paul Rubens has kind of really put it up as, God, she's a great choice. She's a catch. And how does he do this? Well, right, this is Baroque drama going on. He does it with using our um, Roman gods and goddesses, right? Going back to the classics here, we've got Jupiter. We know it's Jupiter because he's got this eagle with the thunderbolt in its, claw, in its talons. And then we've got Juno, Jupiter's wife here. They're right. Their hands are like on one another, lovey-dovey, super in love, looking down at Henry the fourth, who's looking at his prospective spouse. Uh, the peacock, by the way, represents Juno peacocks, I should say. So here we have the, um, uh, Hyman who is, I don't know what actually Hyman is. God, you know, God of marriage, sorry. Um, and goddess of marriage. And here is, uh, Cupid, right? And Cupid's looking at the painting, saying to um, Henry IV, wow, she's a keeper. She's beautiful, isn't she? Right? And Hymen, uh, goddess of marriage, has got this torch, right? Showing, is it goddess or god? Showing passion. Meanwhile, the, rep the personification of France is standing here. Uh, got, she's got King Henry IV's ear and kind of whispering in his ear saying, this is a great catch. This is a great catch. Clearly, probably thinking about all the debt he's got. So that's the content. The form here, right? We have, you remember this piece, right? This is our chapel meant for the Jesuits. Um, remember the light we got going on and the dark contrast. The same is here true, right? The, around Marie de Medici, we have all this light, bright light, right? Whereas the exterior here, we've got dark, you know, this scene of war here that Henry IV had put down his um, vestiges of armor, his shield, his helmet. There's this war going on in the background that he's taken a respite from to come and look at this potential queen for himself. So, right, alternating light and dark, kind of show, framing the important part of the piece. And then we have this angle, right, this dramatic angle going on, right? These are the people who are, are ascending into heaven over here. And on over here, we go from, down from Jupiter to Henry IV. So this, this drama where your eye flows kind of gives us that Baroque feel. And remember the diagonal line that we had early on in the running horned woman, right? Her clothes moving at an angle that gives us drama that gives us a sense of motion. So finally, let me just show you here. This was another piece from the Medici cycle and right again, Baroque like crazy, right? Light going on here darker over here and this is her getting out of the ship and ironically um or sadly henry the fourth wasn't here to greet her and the story is the historog is that um henry fourth was off with a mistress when she actually arrived on the shores of france so i won't show you all 24 of the paintings but needless to say they are baroque and this is Henry the fourth receiving the portrait of Marie de Medici. Uh, lots of drama going on. Baroque.